The government uh, of Macau has forecasted another decline for 2016. Uh, it was, you know, if 20, 2015, it was 230 billion batakas. Uh, they're expecting for uh, 2016 is about 200. And then a lot of people are saying right now, you know, are things bo- are asking this question at least, are things bottoming out? Uh, we've seen some of these companies, their stocks have recovered year to date. I think people, uh, because investors are getting bullish that, hey, especially with, you know, the the po- the more positive result in the beat in February, maybe this is the sign that things are going to be on an upswing, but that's really hard to say. There's a lot going on, and the thing, you know, with each new resort, you're adding a ton of supply. So room revenue is often the second largest source of income after Aha, gaming. Therein lies the rub, and you know it's often the second largest source of revenue for these businesses. But the thing is, tons of new supply coming up soon as each property is completed and. Uh, a trend that we've also seen is falling occupancy rates and falling average daily room rates. So that hurts them. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, some people see it as a positive, but at the same time, you know, Studio City has the buzz right now because it's the newest. Then Wind Palace has the buzz because it'll be the newest, and that will absolutely and then in five be years an it'll incredible be, opening. Know. And then after that, you'll have the Parisian, and after that, you have MGM Kotai, and then after there's several new resorts coming in 2017 as well that we can cover in another episode. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So it seems it, to lend itself to the idea that um, maybe as a whole uh, the bottom's occurring or whatever, but per casino. Yes. more pain maybe. So the thing is, you know, are we going to reach those peaks that we saw in you know 2014? Probably not. Not for many many years. So even if you say, okay, uh, I accept, I agree with the idea that the market is stabilizing and these losses are kind of stemming off. The market now is going to be spread again among more and more tables, right. yeah. more and more slots, more and more rooms, and that's it. Really makes you have to consider how these companies are positioned and you have to look at each company now and really think like are they uh you know marketing themselves and they're going to hit the segments that are going to be uh, the biggest money drivers for for each business yeah and uh, i think that also has a lot to do with why macau is capping the number of table games for example at each new resort because otherwise it's just a larger and larger pie or it's being split you know and, right 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 exactly cool all right so bottom line uh the bottom may be in is for market as a whole but for shareholders of all these companies tread carefully <laughs> and also you know, for me personally i this is i think macau is probably my top three places that i really would like to visit because it's just the development there is incredible, and I've heard so much about it from people who've been there who say it's it's worth the visit, even if you're not a, a gambler. Because, like I said, the entertainment options, the shopping—it's just—it's definitely a sight to be seen.